Remember, whenever we do this work in Tinkercad to do our tutorials, you always want to have two tabs open on your Chromebook. We want to have one tab open with Tinkercad so that you can do the work. And then have another tab open with the video side over here. You can select any one of these shapes and drag it onto the work plane and begin to build things with those. Anytime that you need to, pause the video that's playing, go back to your tab with Tinkercad and accomplish the steps that the video requires. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at Tinkercad. In Tinkercad, we can design things in the 3D platform that are created digitally on our computer and then they can be sent along to a 3D printer to print a tangible object as a result. Our purpose in today is that we're going to have a look at the platform itself, get a feel for where things are and how to manipulate things, and then specifically we're going to look at how to select objects and move them around the work plane. Once you've signed into your account, you'll see your name shows up here and then down below we have any designs that you've created are going to show up down here but for today's lesson we're going to go to this tab right here we're going to click create a new design okay so here we are we're ready to get to work we have our tinkercad icon up here we have the title of our work right here which actually we have nothing yet but tinkercad always does this it gives you a crazy name title for your work um, we have some camera functions over here we have our work plane here. This is where all of our work is going to get done. And then along the right-hand side, we have lots of different options and things that we can do. Ways to move the work plane, a ruler to place in to see how big things are and to measure other pieces. And then we have all of our shapes down the side over here. You can select any one of these shapes and drag it onto the work plane and begin to build things with those. So we're going to start with some basics here. We're going to grab one of the boxes and we're going to drag it in and place it in the work plane. I want you to do this three more times. So you are going to have four separate objects, all squares, brought in to the work plane. Okay, so now you can see we can select each one. When, when any one of them is selected, we can move it around the work plane. We click on this one, we can move that one around the work plane. We click on this one, we can move that one around the work plane. Okay, so here's the task then. What I'm going to ask you to do is to take each one of these boxes and move it into a corner of the work plane. Select it and move it down into the corner. Select it and move it down into the corner. Once you have successfully selected and moved each one of the four squares into one of the four corners of the work plane, I would like you to press Control and the Window button on your Chromebook and take a screenshot. The screenshot there, we can see it was taken and it shows up in my Downloads folder. This screenshot will be uploaded onto your Google Classroom page knowing that you have successfully accomplished the Select and Move assignment. I love art. I love art. I love art.